Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Little Mo, a.k.a. The Godmother, a.k.a. The R&B Diva from L.A., repping the East Coast, and you're checking out This Is 50.com. I guess I ain't got no reason to mingle round. I found a superwoman that could leap from the truck in a single bound. Mommy, I'm trying to blame you down. This is 50.com. This is mm. 50 Radio. I am your host at Gossip Viv. They call me the Heineken. We're here live. We're here live. I forgot to mention hiphopgossipsite.com. Of course, that's your website, as you should. I'm sorry, I should have <clears> said that. <laughs> and we're here with Little Mo. Little Mo. A.K.A. the Little Mo Show.com. Since we busting out with websites. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pardon me. You got your toes out in the winter, and they're clean. But Looking I very didn't know sexy. that was going to be like this windy. I thought we was in Chicago. Look, look, they, they look nice, but... Yeah. Get a quick zoom up of this right this there. This a little song. Ain't no sense to have them out if it ain't dead. Your husband's in love with you. Yeah, <laughs> looking at that right there. <laughs> Stop looking at her toes. They sparkle. <laughs> we gotta go right into it. Okay. She it's doesn't play no Kelly games. Price, really about that life. <laughs> Who is that? Wow. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what life she's about. Mm. Um, everybody saw the show R&B Divas LA. Mm. What she gave is what she got back. Okay. I didn't go out there to. Um, be anything else but myself so okay i can't really speak for what well, well, why did you guys have conflict you know she's made her mark in the music industry so have you what yeah. was the friction about um conflict is good um, oh i like that, that. it naturally happens in life everybody is not going to agree mm. but when you have conflict you also have to have a resolution it doesn't make no sense to conflict and never let it end or when you're gonna conflict at least let me know why we conflicted Oh, so you had no idea why y'all no was idea. coming. And, oh. and all these other interviews that she's doing, speaking around the situation, still she still can't say why she made a comment on the show when she said, everybody said, F. Kelly, I came and singing Kumbaya. I don't know who said that. I would like to see the email, a receipt, <laughs> a voice note, a video. Other than that, it doesn't exist. That's something that she came up with in her head, and nobody cares. Okay. Because there was a part that we seen in R&B Divas with um, she, L.A., yeah okay yeah that um she had brought a bag and brought the timberlands yeah. and then she brought the vaseline yeah. but she did a lot of interviews saying that they took her voice and put it into that scene is that true or where, where would they get the budget to take hold on i need to hear this where would they get the budget to do what little mo to take a sound bite from something like that doesn't come on son okay i mean i just figured i'd ask i, I was i wanted to ask too and i want to call these people that they keep on saying as the wizard ask them like why would y'all do that okay. she said y'all did it but i was right there i, mean, I heard the i heard the statement mm. have you ever came to blows because you know no that I, wasn't allowed oh that was um, drama no. and conflict allowed uh, they have security there, right? Yeah, it's not a game. Yeah. And I have four kids, so I don't play that. Nobody's going to play that on me. Like, mm. It's not happening like that. And I'm not going to touch nobody because I'm not going to jail. Like, it's certain things that I'm not going to do. And if I go to jail, it's because somebody messed with my children, my mama and them, or my money. I heard that. Y'all know how we get. I'm yeah, well, you know, kids. you've seen her work on television, right? <laughs> so, no, you, uh, how about that? Now what? Now what, bitch? Now what? Because I'm about shit for this do you like the way you were portrayed on the show? Because you know a, a lot of reality shows, we got to talk to you. What's your thoughts on But you like the way it was? I love the way I was portrayed. That's the way I am in real life. Mm -hmm. I think if you go there faking, one thing about people is not what you say or what you do. It's how you make people feel. So if right. you're mm. going to be a bully, then be that. Be all you can be. But if you're going to be the henpecked one, the shy one, the hoe, the ratchet one, whatever you're going to be, mm. live up to own it. Don't Because if you start faking, social media will tear you apart. <gasps> Speaking of social media, Lil Mo, the Whoa. queen is shady. Uh-oh. What's up? I'm really not shady, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a couple of things you said on Twitter oh God. that I, I think I almost fell out the seat. What she said, because I ain't see it. Okay, the first one of the first things that I read was when you was Keisha Cole was going through something and okay. you had mentioned something to the effect like she needs a PR person. Oh yeah. Because I said, of who's tweeting for you? Like who approved that? Because <laughs> like no my PR team, they put me on Twitter, they said they call it a Twitter fast and they said, mm. Mo, I want you to start I, I understand you want to be the girl next door, you wanna be cool, but mm. you have to realize that you're not regular right, right. and so they put me on this call what would beyonce do they're well, like beyonce wouldn't go back and forth you don't do that so now it's like i'm really being politically correct i have my little snide comments and my jokes here and there but a lot of people don't realize once you put it out there you might think everybody's gonna laugh 
but you might offend somebody and it might ruin you. And mm. this industry doesn't give second chances like it used to back in the day. Nah, it doesn't mm. at all. It's the first time I've seen you. You, you, oh, you put yeah. Fabulous on. Oh, you that's did. My brother. You made you him really famous did. when he had the napkin around his his head and everybody thought yo. it was some fancy do rag. Every and I remember <laughs> he was doing that just as a joke. I was like, yo, where that? He was like, for real. I was like, trust me. Next thing you know, everybody had napkins on. <laughs> so what what cuz you put out a lot of dope songs you know you've done a lot of collabos even yeah, like no name your some of your resume you know to, for the people like, that do Everybody USA from Fab, Job, Missy I toured with um, 50 and Jay-Z. I yeah. was like the only R&B singer on that tour, Rock the Mic. Mm -hmm. I was just like, like that was like the best tour of my life. Um, everybody. Give um, us a crazy story with 50 and Jay-Z. Oh, that's a good It you wasn't know. really nothing crazy that happened on tour. I remember like 50 would jump out of the Empire State Building and it would be like a big explosion. And every night I would like jump and fart. <laughs> Fart. Yes. So fifties making you fart. <laughs> like not like a queef, but <laughs> like, <laughs> like silence. Like, deadly when, I, like when I hear explosions, I would be like, okay, today I'm not gonna um today I'm not gonna jump, but I would always jump. And he would put on a heck of a show. And every time he would perform, he would fire who kid on the up. So he like, oh, he's fired. This this tour right here that started. You will never see this DJ with me again on stage. Would you ever do a reality show like Love and Hip Hop? Yes. You I would. Yeah. I could. I, well, this guy's my friend. I'd do it just off the friendship alone. It's wow. But what city would you do it for? L.A.? Atlanta? Yeah, love and Hip Hop USA. I am love. I am hip hop. Well, that's her. I know Mona. And she's a friend of mine. Yes. I don't know if I would do another <laughs> reality show with Mona. I'm just saying. Love you, Mona. Just but saying. You, yeah, you had a different experience. Yeah. Mm. I go upside. People say it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but see, yeah. maybe like before I had kids, I would. The reason why I'm real protective. I got four kids just like you. For real? Mm hmm. The oldest is 21. See, my kids are 11, 8, 4, and 1. They go 1 right there. Yeah, he wants to be. I want to get him on camera before we go. Because he, so get him. Come he here. is lounging. Come here, Jess. Like, <laughs> if y'all can see little Jess. Come here, boss. Yeah, he, you dress. Yeah. <laughs> Mother calling you. He wants, because you know, Prodigy what? left um, Mama's behavior, so now he wants to be in it. Oh. So cute. Say something for the camera. Say, tell him what's your name. Justin McKinley Phillip Bryant. Oh my God, he oh, gave his he, whole government. He sure did. And what else what you got to say? Who's your favorite singers? Michael Jackson. And, and who else? else? Um, Drake. Oh, oh you Drake like is your mom? favorite singer. He's not a. You don't look at him as a rapper. And he's. Please. I do look but at everything him like that, a rapper. <laughs> Oh, okay, that goes to that. Oh. <laughs> Baby, I'm at the point in my life when I'm tired of playing games. I'm ready to settle down, ready to buy a house, and I'm ready to. The backgrounds, y'all supposed to do that? Change. Uh. I already have four kids. Don't you see these big ass hips and. All love has to give you I've been your superwoman for so long now I'm already Philip Bryan's wife Any parting words for the people out there? Thank everybody for rocking with me this long. I've been professionally little mo since 1999. So yeah. it's it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. And I think I this, I'm in the greatest shape and the most mentally prepared state, emotionally ready financially ready in my life so i'm ready for i'm ready for the game now